Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries and I'm gonna show you another super simple shelf project. Super simple shelf, super simple shelf, super simple shelf. Say that three times fast. It's not really that hard, but I had trouble with that like the last three times I tried to do this. Anyway, forgive the fact that this is not in a corner. I didn't have a good corner to stage it with, but it's obviously a corner shelf. I built this for my mom to replace this rickety old corner shelf that she has like family photos displayed on. But if you're like me and you kind of hate family photos, this makes a great plant or bookshelf as well. I built this in just a couple of hours with about $27 in lumber. So if you want to build your own, I have linked the plans in the video description below. But if you're ready to see how it all came together, let's go. The plans that I'm sharing below will tell you that you'll need two 2x6x8 boards and three 2x2x6 boards, but I just grabbed three 2x6 boards and cut my own 2x2s from one of them. The cost of a few pre-cut 2x2s versus one 2x6 is probably fairly close, but I prefer to just cut my own 2x2s and this also gave me quite a bit of leftover to stack in the scrap pile to use later, which is both a good and a bad thing. <laughs> Anyway, to get started, I cut one of my 2x6 boards into three pieces to use to glue up for my shelves. Because 2x6s come with rounded corners, I ran these through the table saw to cut a little off each edge to square the corners. This of course is optional, but it makes for a much cleaner glue up. I ripped two of these to about 5 inches wide and one to about 2.5 inches wide. Then I glue them up into a solid wood panel. I'll cut the shelves from this piece later, but for now I set it to the side to let the glue dry while I build the shelf frame. Now you've already seen that I made this project with four shelves, and as you go up each shelf is a little smaller because the sides slant inward. So I cut four sets of what I'm going to call shelf back slats. I'm not really sure what to call these. Each of these pieces will have one square end and one end mitered seven degrees. I had to pay careful attention to swap the miter angle back and forth as I cut these to make sure that I was cutting them correctly. I've detailed all of the measurements in the plans linked below. So if you want specifics, check those out. Now the corner posts of the shelf were made of 2x2s, so I first cut three 2x2s from one of my 2x6s. 2x2s are actually 1.5 inches square, which I know confuses a lot of people, so I just adjusted my rip fence to 1.5 inches from the blade and cut my boards. From these pieces, I cut one back corner post for the shelf, and this will have square ends, and then I cut two outside corner posts with 7 degree mitered ends. Basically, the back post will stand straight up and down while the two other corner posts will slant inward as you go towards the top. Before I moved on, I took inventory of all of the pieces that I just cut and kind of dry fit them together to make sure that I was on the right path here. <laughs> Then I sanded all of the pieces before putting them together. There are a thousand ways that you could assemble this shelf. And up until like five seconds ago, I thought I would assemble them using screws and like just plug the screw holes, which would mean that on the corner shelves, on the front pieces, you would see the plugs. I think that the color won't quite match. So what I'm going to do, since this is going in a corner and you're not going to see the back, and this is a $30 shelf, I'm going to just, I'm going to use screws on the corner. So if this is the corner piece and these pieces attach like this, I'm just going to use screws through the two by two and into this board. Like this will be the front piece. So I was also going to do the same thing here and just screw straight through and then use a dowel and plug it. Instead, 
I'm going to use pocket holes. I know some of you hate pocket holes. Some of you are like me and you love pocket holes. Um, but in this case, they work and they're gonna be hidden on the back side of this. And unless you pick up the shelf and turn it around, you're not gonna see the pocket holes. Gonna drill the pocket holes before I screw in the corners. That'll make it a lot easier. And then assemble this and this will go pretty quick. For assembly, you can get as complicated as you'd like, but since this is literally a $30 spruce wood shelf for holding family pictures in my mom's foyer, I was not concerned with getting fancy here. So I drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into the angled ends of the shelf slats, then began assembling. I started by securing all of the shelf slats to the back corner post first, starting at the top and then working my way down. I was on the struggle bus for the first one here, but then I decided to lay this down to do the rest. I used my Craig quick flip countersinking bit to pre-drill my holes, then secured with two and a half inch screws. I used a scrap wood spacer block to help me evenly space the shelf slats about eight and a half inches apart. After one side was done, I repeated for the other side, making sure to install the screws so that they wouldn't like run into each other on the corner post. Then it was time to add the front corner posts. I made sure to angle the ends correctly here before securing. Then just like before, I started at the top and secured the slats to the post, keeping equal spacing between them as I worked my way down. It hurts my shoulder to drive the screws going upward, so I flipped it over and tried to drive them pushing down instead, but that was kind of a mess. I really needed a second set of hands. So I switched back to driving them upward, but feel free to position the boards however you're able to clamp and drive. As long as it's together at the end, that's all that really matters. <laughs> Once the frame was assembled, all that was left was adding the shelves. So I removed my glued up panel from the clamps and trimmed the ends clean and square on the miter saw. This will be what I cut my shelves from. I measured out and traced four shelves to fit between the four shelf slats. Exact dimensions are detailed in the plans linked below, but I used my measuring tape and a pencil to trace out curves, pivoting around the corners of each shelf. These were definitely not perfect, but they were close enough. You could also use a round object to trace out the curve, freehand it, or simply just cut them straight and skip the curve altogether. I used a jigsaw to cut out the curves, but I used a miter saw on the straight edges to make sure that these were nice and square. Then came the sanding. There was lots and lots of sanding to smooth everything out and to remove all of the glue squeeze out. After the four shelves were sanded well, I installed them into the shelf frame using two and a half inch screws. I drove one screw in one side of the frame first, then flipped it over and installed two more on the other side. I put, you'll notice, two screws on this side on the second, third, and fourth shelf. I didn't on the top shelf because it's so small. To be honest, I mean, unless you're gonna load these shelves down with like hundreds of pounds each and they're pretty small, so good luck with that. But unless you're gonna do that, I think one screw on each side will work. I just put this third screw on the one side just to help keep it from like twisting in the corner. So if you were to press down in the corner, it could kind of twist up and down a little bit if you only had two screws. So two screws are fine, three screws, are better. Four screws is overkill, but if you wanted, if it was a pet peeve of yours and you needed two on each side, just because you're OCD, feel free to add another one, but it's really not necessary. 
at this point, you can fill or plug all of the countersunk holes and pocket holes if you'd like and finish as desired. I obviously left this unfinished for now because my mom wants to paint this some weird color that I'm just not a big fan of. So it looks better for pictures like this. I know this was a simple project, but I really enjoyed building it and I hope that you enjoyed watching it come together. If you can't wait to see what's next on the channel, I'd love if you'd subscribe and follow along. And if you want to build one of these for yourself, don't forget to check out the plans linked below. Thanks so much for watching friends and until next time, happy building.